Hi, this is Tavon. And this is Hope Girl. We're coming to you from the QEG Academy. And this is the mini QEG update, April 2016. Wonderful. So we've got some really exciting stuff. Yes, we do. And we're going to share some great pictures with you. But first, we just want to explain a couple things before we go into that. Um, so this is the mini QEG, Tesla Gen. Yes. yes. And the reason why this is so exciting is because we've finally gotten to a certain stage of the project. We've, you know, we've been building and sharing. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about tooling. And this is yeah. for the, the non-technician, such as myself, if you don't understand what mm -hmm. that means. It costs a lot of money to make the tools that will then make the parts mm -hmm. in, a, uh, in a manufacturing company, right? Yeah. So that's what we've done. We had the tooling made for the Mini QEG, and that makes it so that you can stamp out lots of different parts at a much, much lower price. And all the tooling's been made in... China. China! So... Yeah. Well, there is um, a thing about the tooling. What Hope is referring to is the core, the rotor and the stator. And these are steel parts. And they're not something that you can just necessarily buy out the store. Um, for our particular project, when you're creating a new uh, part of, of the generator, the rotor and the stator, these parts are what you need in order to make the part. And these parts can be expensive, anywhere between seven thousand to twenty thousand dollars, depending on what man, what manufacturer is making this tooling for you. Right. So it costs seven to twenty thousand dollars just to make the tooling, so that you can then make the parts, so that people like you guys at home and gals, there's some ladies out there too, can yeah. build a mini QEG yes. for we're hoping between fifteen and eighteen hundred dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharing our screen so that you can see some of these pictures. So the first one, oops, sorry, on the, the last slide. Okay, here's our mini QEG update. Okay, the first picture we're looking at, Tavon, yeah. what is this? Okay, so um, as part of the development cycle, while the one manufacturer was working on creating the tooling for our rotor and stator, another manufacturer was working on the 3D printed resin, uh, plastic bobbins. So these are the high voltage bobbins mm. that are going to be wrapped around the stator. And as uh, if, as you recall from our previous update, or if you might, if this is if this is new to you, the Mini QEG and Tesla Gen V1 project, the stator is unique. It's broken up into four separate pieces. Which makes it really easy to just pop one of these bobbins off unwind it and rewind it if you needed to do something like that. So it's much easier experimentation, right? Exactly, exactly. Awesome. All right, here's another part. Okay, now what we're looking at here are the end plates. Now, for our Tesla Gen prototype, we've chosen to make the end plates uh, out of polycarbonate and translucent. You know, we like to be able to look inside and see what's going on. Um, now, polycarbonate was chosen over acrylic, for example, because the tensile strength of polycarbonate is 30 times that of acrylic. Um, yet, so it's very strong, very rigid, very tough material. Obviously, it's an, an insulator as well. So, um, now, let me, see there. let me just interject for one second here before we keep going. Um, I wanted to talk about the parts you're seeing. These aren't ready-made parts. These are all parts that you designed, correct? Yes. So. Okay. Um, Back in 2014, when the development was going on among um, many enthusiasts within the forums, uh, some ideas were put forward on designing the Mini QEG. Right. And I, I, I was there helping, and um, and yeah, these designs are inspired off the uh, off the feedback that was happening during that time. And what's so what's so exciting is that. They were all ideas and thoughts, and then they were sketches or they were 3D graphics. So yes. what we're showing you are real parts that we've made from those ideas. And yes. that's very rare to see that in a world of engineering experimentation where everything is kind of always in, in the, the realm of being a theory. Yes. Right? But let me, let's, let's keep going uh, and show some more of these pictures. 
And we'll talk about the CAD package. If you're interested in getting yes. these parts yourself, we do have a CAD package available. So you can go ahead and build with us, but that'll be just hanging it to the end of our update. We'll tell you how, how to get the CAD package. So what are these? These these uh these T shaped because this is this is the T we used in the in the Tesla Gen logo, as you can see down at the bottom here. Um, what are these? Because of the unique design of the stator, there has to be a way to create a support frame that holds all four pieces and the other components together into a chassis that was simple to construct. And that's made possible by these end pieces, these support blocks that are made out of nylon 66. Uh, so that's what these are. Here's a picture of all of them together. Yes. All right, we've got another picture. This is the specially designed rods that yes. you made. So these are the support rods that's going to go through the stator and the, the, the rest of the chassis. These are going to be basically the skeleton that's going to hold the whole generator together when it's done. Okay. Now these are the, the this is the exciting picture. This is yes. the tooling we were talking about. Yes, okay, so the parts right. that you saw um, were some of the, the additional parts that are going to be assembled. But here's part of the tooling. So what are we seeing here? Okay, so this is the tooling that we were talking about earlier that can cost between seven to $20,000 depending on who you're getting to make the tooling for you. And to be honest, this is where the bulk of the proceeds have gone towards for this particular project is the tooling. What you're looking at is the tooling for the rotors, for the two-pole rotor and for the six-pole rotor. That these are the, um, the tools that will be stamping out the laminations that will be used to make our part, our rotors in this example. And we've got some more tooling. Okay, these are, these are for some different parts. What are we seeing here okay, from well, the left? Okay, so from the left, in addition to experimenting with the, uh, the Tessagen Mini QEG, um, we designed a, what is called a universal transformer core. This will allow you to take advantage of certain winding configurations to experiment with what's been theorized as lensless transformers. So what you're looking at is the tooling that was used to make our transformer core that we too will be offering as well. Excellent. And over on the right? On the right is a tooling for the stator. Uh, this, is a, this is what will be used to make a quadrant for the stator. You need four of these to make a complete stator. And this is where it starts to get exciting because we've had our first parts stamped out, the laminations. Yeah. So we're looking at one section here. So what we're looking at here are the combination of the high voltage uh, 3D printed bobbins uh, and the stator, a, a section that has been slid into it. And that's going to be the advantage of, of uh, the Mini QEG Tesla Gen V1. And here she is. Yes, that's the a complete stator. Obviously, the windings aren't there, but um, when you you can imagine um, with the windings there, we have a high voltage setup um, there. Excellent. And here's another view. And that is a, an example of it with the rotor put in the six pole rotor on the inside. So this is going to spin and create that resonance effect that we're all so excited about. Yes, it is. Um, to generate power the way Tesla would have done it. Yes, really yes. excited, really excited. And so we've got one of our final pictures here of all the different tooling and the parts stamped out. Yes, yes, I mean, uh, this, is, this is what we've been waiting for. You know, the things that were in that CAD design have been brought into reality and, um, and, and, and are being basically finalized. Excellent, so thank you so much. That is our update. We wanted to just say that um, once, so this is still in China and it's working its way over to us in our lab. This is a global project. This yes, is, is grassroots engineering at its finest. If you would like to get involved, please join our mailing list. And let me tell please you do. why. Um, and you can do that in the link below this video. But the reason why is because once we get all of this stuff here, we're going to have um, the mini QEG and the big QEG set up here in our lab and uh, Tavon and James are going to be playing with both of them and doing all different kinds of experiments and myself and Valerie will be running around chasing these guys 
with video cameras and taking as much footage as possible. So there's loads of videos coming your way for updates about this exciting free energy, clean energy, it experimental uh, project to recreate one of Tesla's designs. Yes. So please, up, uh, please join our mailing list in the box below and we will send you every update, every video, and other ways that you can get involved. For now, thanks so much Thank for the you. UAG Academy. See you next time. Bye.